Welcome back, Blade fans. We've got a flying fish in the house. That's right. Petrified fish. One of the latest models. Straight in from White Mountain Knives. A $35 budget knife in a very interesting form factor and profile. I think you would agree. It is the model 878. BP, that's for the color of the handle. <clears throat> so it is the PF878 BP, better known as the Wing. So we've got a name for this one along with a number of others. Everybody's familiar with the Beluga and the Warrior and several other petrified fish models that go by names. This is the Wing, and it is designed by David Chen. I believe most of the Petrified Fish Knives have been designed by David Chen. This has a beautiful, gorgeous satin finish on it, belt satin, I would assume, with uh, the flat doesn't have any satin finish on it, at least none that you can see the lines on. Anyway, it is a high grind, deep belly, drop point blade with an unusual and interesting handle with kind of a hump here and a straight section near the end. Is it ergonomic? Absolutely. Fits square in the hand. We have a chamfered section of jimping here where it is uh, somewhat rounded on the edges with a lot of good grip on that short run of jimping. There's your PF for Petrified Fish on the pivot. T8 over here. And if I didn't mention it, it is a D2 knife and there is the model number 878. So the wing is a large knife. How large, you might ask? Well, let's find out. It is eight and, eight and three quarters overall, and three and three quarters on the blade. Not a small knife, and uh, it's one of the reasons I ordered it right up when I saw those specs. It's a 0.64 inch handle thickness and a blade. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, well, let's get it right over here so we know the blade stock. And wow, yeah, it is a 4.2 millimeter blade stock. Finally, the weight. And it is weight relief. We'll take a look at that in a moment. We would need to turn the scale on first. And we've got 4.994 ounces. I guess we'll call this bad boy 5 ounces. How about that? Not bad. 3 and 3 quarter inch blade, 5 ounces. And I was saying earlier, is it weight relieved? Well, yes skeletonized through that series of holes on both sides. How is the action? Well, drop shut. Adjusted slightly after I took it out of the box. So we'd have a little better action on it, but not bad out of the box either. Can it be opened any other way? Not really. It's pretty much the back flipper with a tab slightly set slightly ahead of the pivot, which is a good thing. Beautiful light switch action. The back. Oh, yeah. And you can fail it. It's got a pretty strong detent. 
I'm pushing here. That time it just kind of swung out. Wide open with the exception of a short back spacer of G10. Handles on this guy are a blue-gray G10. Kind of like that color. Slotted lanyard port. Taking another look at it here. Interesting clip. Very stylized. Kind of a reverse look of the shape of the blade, I would say. Rather blade-like clip. Not deep carrying. Not at all. Got about three quarters of an inch sticking out of your pocket there. You may or may not care for that, but hey, that's the design. Waiting in the wings here, speaking of wings, is for comparison the Beluga. A very popular petrified fish knife. And the Warrior. This Warrior is in ebony wood and a blackened blade. And these two are K110, kind of a classier D2, supposedly a little finer grained and made by the Bowler Company. You can see that they're pretty much the same length, tip to tip and pommel to pommel, with maybe the, I would say, if we put all the pommels even with each other, that in order of length we've got the wing being the longest, the warrior the second longest, and the pet the uh, petrified fish, the beluga, the shortest. Beluga is a front flipper, as you probably know. Very nice front flipper. Full belly blade. Warrior is a clip point with a nice swale there for your thumb. No jumping. Also drop shut. Got some nice ridges going along here. You may or may not like the handle. You know, it, it's very organic looking. I don't know if it looks like a wing. Maybe it does look like a wing in cross section, you know. Maybe an aircraft wing. I'm not sure. But it is an interesting shaped handle. You don't see this shape that often. We got a nice chamfer relief there for the liner. Really nice action and very, very ergonomic. That forms a palm swell, goes right into the hand. Clip is not a hot spot at all. A little bit of jumping on the backspacer. No jumping anywhere else. And one thing I did notice is the blade to handle ratio is kind of, I won't say off, but we've got a much longer handle by about three quarters of an inch than the blade. So um, that may account for the eight and three quarters inch overall length but uh, somehow or other they still managed to uh, fit that blade in there and let's double check that once again yeah I mean uh, it's actually a little shy of three and three quarters probably could have been that long if uh, they decided to stuff more blade in the handle not sure of the choice there but I don't think it's a bad thing because it is a big knife overall, but that just kind of surprised me that you have uh, that much left over in the handle for perhaps uh, a little longer blade. But maybe, uh, maybe for one reason or another, because of the height of the grind, they couldn't fit it in there. I don't know. But that's a question we can all ask of petrified fish. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. 
hit that button over to your right looks like my logo that'll bring you to the subscribe place be well